Hello, my name is Jeanette and welcome to my channel. Today I'm taking you sourcing with me for Amazon retail arbitrage. I just made it to my first stop. Well, it's kind of my second stop because my first stop was French fry obsession. I didn't go to McDonald's for years and years and years. And then all of a sudden I got on this French fry thing and I can't stop. Do you guys ever do this with your French fries? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I actually used to work at McDonald's when I was in school, like back in high school. And it was one of my favorite jobs. I worked there with a bunch of friends. And of course there was always drama and food. And I got like all the free soda I wanted. I worked there back during Beanie Baby days. People would go nuts for these Beanie Babies. One time McDonald's gave me like a Beanie Baby necklace because while the promotions are going on, you would get pins, shirts, necklaces, things like that. And some customer offered me like a hundred dollars for this Beanie Baby necklace and I did not sell it. I'm pretty sure I still have that Beanie Baby necklace. Now that I'm done with snack time slash story time, let's get into my first stop today, which is going to be Staples. I love the clearance aisle here, so I figured I'd stop in and see if I can find anything good. Staples and I did wind up getting some things. Most everything I got was from the clearance aisle. The first thing I found it was some ink and I paid $4.46. It sells for $18.63 and I should profit $7.64 on each of those and I got four. The next thing I found from the clearance aisle I picked up for five dollars. It sells for $27.55 and I should profit $14.07 on that. I asked if they had any more in the store that I, cause I couldn't see any and he checked and there wasn't. That was sad. I would have liked to find more of those. Last but not least, I found a lunchbox in their lunchbox and backpack section. I bought this lunchbox for $19.99 and it's selling for $38.89 as the new low price. But people who are selling them prime FBA are getting over $42 for these. I could potentially make more on this lunchbox because it seems to be a print that people are willing to pay more for. That was it in Staples, not too bad. I feel like I always find like the most random treasures in Staples. That was a good stop. Next stop, I want to uh, head over here to Marshall's and I guess Ross. I don't really like Ross, but it is a good place to find backpacks and lunch boxes. So I guess I'll check it out today. Let's go. Just made it to Marshall's and Ross cause they're neighbors. I'm gonna bring a bag with me and let's go. Marshalls. I wound up getting a few things. I actually spent over $200 in there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so the first thing I got was some tea. I paid $7.99. It sells for $24.91 and I should profit $7.97 on each of those and I wound up finding three. The next thing I found was a beauty item and it's a bundle. I bought the bundle for $12. It sells for $27.50 and I should profit seven ten on each of those and I wound up getting 10 bundles because they had a lot of stock and I just went for it. It has a really low rank, a 50% ROI, and it makes more than $5. This one's like a win-win chicken den. I also picked up a Halloween item. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. 
Right now it's selling for $37.99. I paid $14.99 for it and it would profit $11.28. So I went ahead and checked Keepa before I bought it. According to the history, it looks like the rank will drop a lot once you know we get closer to September and it looks like the price stays about the same so I went ahead and picked these up they had more than four but I went ahead and just got four I think I found about hundred and thirty three dollars in the Marshalls which actually doesn't sound right so I'm sure I did some math wrong and then I got this I just love it I love fries I love the colors I love the sparkles I was in search for a smaller cosmetic bag because mine is too big. So here we go. Isn't it the cutest? Oh my God, it's so cute. And it was only $6.99. It speaks to my fry obsession. Okay, next stop is going to be Walmart. Wally, 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 Walmart. I want to check the clearance aisle and the toys. So let's go. I just got out of Walmart and I got nothing in there. The first thing I did was go over to the clearance and it looks like a bunch of the same stuff is still there from last time, like the graduation stuff and just stuff that I'm not interested in. Uh, then I went over to the toys and oh my gosh, they have so many cute new toys. I was so excited but I guess they're so new that I can't even find listings for them. I tried typing it in, I tried taking a picture of it, I tried scanning the barcode, nothing was working. So yeah, I spent about an hour looking through all the toys and scanning toys. I was looking for a lead too that I did not find. I've been outsourcing for about five hours and it doesn't feel like it's been that long, but I'm also ready to eat and go home. So. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Starting next week, I will be on a contract, doing contract work. I'm sure you've heard me say it before. I won't be able to source too much. I'm not sure how many videos I'll be able to do. So just stay tuned. Maybe I'll do a little vlog while I'm out uh, doing my contract work. I'm definitely gonna miss sourcing. and I'm definitely gonna miss you guys. Hopefully the two weeks goes by fast and everything will be back to normal soon. But for now, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna add all this stuff up and I will let you know how much I'm supposed to profit from today's sourcing trip. I got all my online orders, Wednesday's sourcing trip, and Friday's sourcing trip packed up and I wound up with these four boxes. By Wednesday, I had already found about $171 in profit. I found $337 more, making this week's total profit $508.60. It's not quite my $600 goal, but I will take it. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for coming along with me today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment and I will see you next time. Bye.